You know exactly what Carla told me. What you did to her was torture. You made her believe she was losing her mind. Now, what kind of person would do that? I, uh, I didn't. She said, uh, she said herself she, she got it wrong. You're going to suffer for what you did. And if the police aren't doing it, I'm going to do it. You understand? D does Carla know you're, uh, here? Is that, uh, Carla? Oh, why don't you answer it? Tell her where you are, what you're doing. So she wouldn't approve. As I have a, a meeting to get to. No. No, no. I'm not going to let you walk out. No chance. Not this time. So we stay here till you tire of throwing unfounded accusations at me? Listen, why don't I agree to just stay out of your way for a while? Take one more step. Come. Oh, I will. Give you a chance to calm down. That <laughs> temper over shadows, over nothing at all. Perhaps it's you who's suffering with a little psychosis. Oh, you really don't want to keep pushing me. I'm not going to stop pushing you. Has it occurred to you that you might have got it all wrong? No. And I'm not going to stand here and let you lie to me again. I would rather see you dead. Oh, would you? What on earth is this? Are you threatening my son? He deserves more than threats. Oh, for goodness sake, Peter, get out. Your days are numbered here. I'll see you again. Just go, go, go. Uh, Come on, sweetheart. Uh, there's no reasoning with a man like that. He's a caveman. As opposed to what? A businessman? A man who makes it his business to steal the house from his own mother? <laughs> <laughs>